stand up for human rights requires courage, perseverance, vigilance, and a strong foundation of knowledge and evidence. The intellectual leadership on contemporary human rights issues that the Bonavero Institute seeks to offer will draw scholars, human rights practitioners, and members of global civil society to come together and pool their efforts. We have always been very concerned with social, social justice and to do something together as a family is something quite special. There's a lot of stuff about human rights that's been going on for a long time in Oxford. But there was no proper home. Given the development of the last five or ten years, uh, obviously the timing for this new institute was quite auspicious um, because it's sadly more necessary than ever. Do you think that the human rights ideal has lost its appeal? The, co the conversation has to change. It affects everybody. You know, human rights is not only for black Americans, Latinos, indigenous people, and all. it's for everyone. And uh, it could be them today, it could be the other person uh, tomorrow. And so I think the dialogue has to change. So, so you, the students, and the PhD students have to think through how we... Invent a better language. Better language. The best way that you can ever deal with the issue of human rights is to tell That's stories right. about how they affect people's lives, the absence yeah. of rights. Yeah, but I think you have to teach them to tell the stories. You have to turn lawyers into storytellers as well. Martin Luther King once said that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. The path of the moral universe may be long and difficult, and at time, <clears throat> we may face the risk of sliding backwards and of underestimating the challenges that lay before us. But we must remain committed. We must remain committed to achieving our vision of a world of enduring peace, free from war and poverty, with liberty and equality for all human beings. Our world is in a parlous state. Like all of you, I'm a firm believer that the rule of law has to be protected with every fiber of our being. And no democracy can survive without it. But the rule of law is meaningless if that concept is not imbued with the protection of human rights. I think one of the responsibilities of the Institute will be to provide the intellectual framework to fight the good fight. Because right now, I'm not sure we're winning it. Human rights is not only about states, it's not only about politics. Indeed, it was Eleanor Roosevelt, who was initially involved as the chairperson of the UN Commission on Human Rights, who said human rights start in small places. And I'm not going to suggest that Oxford is a small place, but actually all of us come from small places. We come from homes, we come from schools, we come from communities, we come from families. And I think one of the things we're going to have to do in this current attack on human rights is remind ourselves of what Eleanor Roosevelt said, that human rights have to live in our workplaces, in our schools, in our universities, in our factories, if people are really going to believe in them.